So Jeezy uh, is offering his advice, and he is joining us now uh, to talk about this book. Yo, Jeezy, yo, welcome yo. to TMZ Live. Yes, welcome back, man. You already see it, baby. Adversity for sale. This is it. <laughs> Very proud about this moment. How well, you guys doing? We're good. We're good, uh, man. First of all, congratulations on the book. Thank you. Thank um, you. I am fascinated by a couple of things. I've, I've got a lot to ask you. Okay. Um, the, the first thing is what Charles said, which is that if you grow up in the inner city, it, right. it is hard to relate to a Bill Gates who writes a book on how to succeed. But based on what I've read about your book so far, a lot of the principles are the same, right. but the it's messenger you're, is different. Right, you're di right. and, and, and it really is about you um, sending that message, right? right? I mean, well, what it is, it's like, you know, when you when you um, communicating with someone, uh, it's how you communicate with them. And, and when you're communicating a story, uh, they, they get out the parts that affect them. Like, I, I love what Bill Gates does, but it's hard for him to go talk to some inner city kids that are going through trauma and uh, are in... in, in environments where there's violence and there's not a lot of opportunity. And I don't think that Bill Gates can relate to that, but you got Jeezy Gates for that. No worries, I got you. <laughs> Yeezy Gates, I like it, I like it, man. <laughs> I but, got you. you know, but you raised a good point. I mean, you, you know, you uh, came from, uh, you know, you were hustling, admittedly you were hustling yeah. in the streets in Atlanta. Yeah. And, um, and but you, you still saw a path right. to this success and um, I, I think that's the part of the story that people really need to hear and how you thought about that and, and how you avoided right. some major pitfalls. You know, right. I'm talking about the part of the book where you're talking about your association with the BMF right. uh, crew. Right. <laughs> but they well, went one way and we know how that ended and right. here you are. Right. Well, I think, I think a lot of people got to understand that, you know, music is, a, is, is my talent. Business has always been my passion. And, you know, even before I was hustling, I knew that I wanted to be an entrepreneur, I wanted to be a businessman, but I know there was no way that I can walk straight from the streets into an office or a boardroom. It wasn't gonna happen. So music was the, the, the vessel that got me there, but I also understood that I was bigger than music. And even with my surroundings, even the people that I was, um, you know, affiliated with or whatever, you know, everybody has their own dreams. And my dream was to be a uh, well-respected businessman, well-respected entrepreneur, well-respected real estate mogul, which is what I do in Atlanta as well. Um, so that was always my path, right? And, and I respect anybody else's path as well, but this is where I wanted to be. I wanted to be sitting in this chair telling my story because I know there's not a straight line uh, to where I'm at. You know, there's zigzags, it's cursive, it's, it's circles, it's everything. So I just wanna share, you know, uh, my trials and trills uh, with people like myself. And you don't have to even be a street guy. You could just be somebody who wants to make it in life and don't understand, um, you know, why you're getting pushed back or this adversity keeps coming at you. And, and it's like, you know, you, you got to deal with it. And once you do, you're able to tell somebody else. It's like if I came to you right now, Harvey, and said I wanted to make my own, uh, um, you know, um, show, uh, you, you got a bunch of insight that I would never know about that when you started until now. And I think that's the beautiful part about it. You talking to somebody that can relate to you will understand your words rather than, um, you know, somebody trying to tell them who, who they don't relate to. And well, what... there, there are two things that I really relate to you on in this uh -huh. book. And one I, of them... I hope, I hope it wasn't hustling, though. It was a hustler, Harvey. <laughs> the hustling... Oh, no, let me find out, let me find, me. Let me find he... out you was on Skid Row. <laughs> get to the money. <laughs> the hustling part is actually something I really, yeah. really, really believe in and co-sign with you on. For sure. But... You know, it really does kind of relate to hustling, yes. which is that there are a lot of people who say, I want this, and it's something very specific. Right. And I think that's a mistake. Yes. Because I think what you got to do is shoot your shot wherever you can shoot your shot, right. and you right. find things along the way that you didn't necessarily anticipate, but right. as long as you're, and, and you talk a lot about that in the right. book. Well, what it is, is, is it's about purpose. You got to have something that's bigger than you. And your purpose is, it can change over time. Like my purpose was one thing when I was 16, 15, was just get my mom a house. I've done that five times over. And it, and it just, my purpose just got bigger and bigger. And, and, and now I really understand my position and why I was put here and why I went through the things that I went through because I, I'm supposed to spread the word about how, how, do, you, how do you make it through uh, with, with the options that you're given because I'm living proof that this, this can happen. I'm living proof that, you know, you take Barack Obama, he, he knows exactly who I am and what I stand for. You take anybody that's powerful in this world that comes from our culture, they see what I'm trying to do. 
And that's what it's about because there's going to be people from the next generation that are trying to get to where I'm at, at least or, or, or past that. And my goal and my 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 purpose is to show them that it's possible with my uh, my actions and 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 how I handle myself. You know, because I've been through. I mean, you've reported a lot of stuff on me, Harvey. It wasn't all good. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't all good. It wasn't this. <laughs> I'll tell right. you that. Yeah. <laughs> well, listen. By the way, it's not just us acknowledging how the great things that you're, you've done with your life. Yeah. Um, in this book, I know that uh, we've got to say congratulations that in Atlanta, yes. they acknowledged it recently. You got a, a, a very special award from, for your yes. efforts in the community down yes. there from yes. the Urban League. Urban League um, yeah. Congratulations, man. Yeah, shout out to the Urban League. I love everything that they're doing. I mean, and, you know, just being uh, somebody that comes from the inner city and goes through, you know, that went through what these, uh, these kids are going through, it's just a proud moment to see that you have an organization um, like that that's really out here uh, that's fighting for these these kids and these people. I mean, it's, it's real. Like, we don't have a lot of help. Uh, we don't have a lot of uh, understanding, and, and that's why we need leaders. And, and I shout out the Urban League for, you know, taking the lead on that. You know, and just, well, I think what, what, they would say they're shouting you out for, yeah, for being a leader. Right? For sure. One other thing. Um, I just think this is so important, and I love that you addressed it in the book. You talk a lot about how important it is to take care of yourself, to you right. know, to eat health, right, right yeah. to exercise, and all this right. stuff. Right. I believe in that so much because right. I think when people kind of fall off that and they have you know problems because of it, right. you can't focus. It, it affects on, your mind. Yeah, it right. affects your, your mind and your right. job and everything mind. else. I love that right. you included that in here. Yeah, because um, it's, it's a lot of things that go with that. I mean, like, you know, one, one thing that I learned early on is like you're making decisions that can cost uh, people their lives. So you have to you, you have to think like a, a, a real leader, like a general. And, and in order to do that, you have to be in your best shape. So, uh, you, you know, I have employees, I have staff, I have all these different things going on, and I have to be in a place where I'm healthy, I'm sound, I'm mine, I can make decisions, and I have clarity because, you know, it was a time that I probably didn't drink water for years. Like, I was, all it was was Chris Style and Waffle House. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I was like 5'8", 260, and um, I just really got on this health journey, and I just started reading books and, and starting to understand, and I started taking care of myself. And, and, and I just made better decisions. I just had a better quality of life and I started to get a better quality of friends and surroundings because I was sound and I understood, uh, you know, how I was living and what-, what Well, what you know I what really do. sucks? Yeah. You can go from 230 to like 150, but you can't change the 5'8", you know? Right, 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 <laughs> right, right. Unless, He's been unless, trying for a long time. And look, unless, unless you stand on your money. <laughs> 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 well put, well put. Hey, Jeezy, uh, love that you, sp you took some time to talk yes, to us sir. about this. Congrats yes, on sir. the book. Congrats Coming out yes. in August. August, August 8th. August, August 8th, 8th. Adversity uh, for store. Sale. And you can get it anywhere books are sold right now with your pre-order. So anywhere books are sold. And I'm doing, the, I did the Audible edition so you'll hear my voice. Thank All you right. guys so much. Salute. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you, Harvey. Thank we're, you guys. We're All really right. thrilled for you. For sure.